So latent view analytics just dropped their Q1 FY25 results. Let's break it down into the good, the bad and the going forward strategy by the management. The results show a strong revenue growth. The total revenue, which currently sits at 236 crores, grew 31.9% year on year and about 1.6% quarter on quarter. The results also show a strong profitability. Adjusted EBITDA grew 36.6% year on year to 52 crores, with adjusted EBITDA margins holding at 22.2%. The revenue of their financial services vertical grew 48% year on year, indicating progress beyond their core technology vertical, which still remains the highest contributor at about 67% of the total revenue. About 77% of the revenue comes from clients that Clayton View has served for over five years, indicating sticky client relationships. Their operations span across North America, Latin America, EU, UK and APAC with a strong workforce of over 1,600 employees and a seamless offshore, onshore and nearshore model. The company also received multiple industry awards for analytics, MLOps, supply chain and customer analytics leadership in FY25. The adjusted EBITDA margin dropped about 2.2% sequentially largely because of company-wide annual compensation revisions. Along with adjusted EBITDA, PAT margins also saw a slight sequential decline from 19.8% to 19.5%. Top 5 clients of the company contribute to about 62% of the revenue and top 10 clients contribute to about 75% of the revenue, which shows a very high concentration risk. Utilization rate for the company hovered at 77% and LTM attrition was at about 21%, requiring ongoing attention to workforce efficiency and retention. Their core strategy includes embedding AI across business processes and deepening data engineering partnerships. The company is also going to continue investing in employee upskilling for advanced analytics and AI. According to the management, efforts are also underway to deepen relationships with Diamond Accounts, which is high potential clients, and reduce dependency on a few key accounts. They are also focusing on expanding service lines and strengthening their presence across regions beyond North America and APAC. With that, we come to an end on the updates from Q1 results and investor presentation. What are your thoughts on the latent view stock? Let me know in the comments below and follow the next big thing for more.